Welcome back everybody to another HP Elite A300 budget gaming PC build video. Today I'm gonna do a certain upgrade that was something I probably should have done when I first got the computer, but I did some more research and realized I need it, is I'm gonna install an SSD on the HP. I'm gonna install an SSD on the HP because the HDD that comes with the computer is pretty old it's not as fast and you know i do i use this computer every single day so any of you guys that have been asking you know how does it how well does it game i have a gaming channel i'm gonna post a link above in the little card up there check out my gaming channel and all those games are on this computer i play this i use this computer every single day the ssd that i picked up is a samsung x6 x60 860 evo this is a one terabyte uh solid state drive you don't need one terabyte but me i overkill everything um, I got it from Best Buy. You guys from the saw in the last video. Mountain bracket for it. And I got an extra SATA cable as well. So I've been making videos on this HP um, A300 for a while. And a lot of people have been asking a lot of questions. Hopefully this video can kind of help out a little bit. This is how you open up the, the case, by the way. You probably should be doing this. Oh, this thing's a little dusty. I need to clean this thing all up. Always keep some condensed air, some dust there. Always, you know, convenient for things like this. Look at all that dust, that's crazy. If you ever have the time to dust off your electronics, I highly recommend it. Okay, anyways, I'm using a 1050 Ti um, low profile graphics card and definitely make sure you get low profile because the regular 1050 Ti will stick outside the case and it won't even fit. I made a mistake of buying that one and it never fits. So if you get this, make sure it's a low profile. See how it fits in there? You need that. Just to answer some questions as well, when you have the, the T50 in there, you have a, what is that? You have, you have two HDMI ports, a DP port, and a DVI port. Just so you guys can see what that looks like. It takes up two of these slots, and when you slap this thing in, you take off these gates, and there's two right here, just take them out. I'm hoping I have everything right. I'm not a tech savvy person at all. Like, all this stuff I've been doing is I've just been jumping in, doing research, slapping things together and it's going from there. So this is the HDD and all you gotta do is pretty much you lift this thing up. I think you push that green button over there first and you lift this thing up and this is your, your hard drive. So literally all you have is SATA power uh, cable. So this connects I believe to your hard drive, hard drive. This connects to your power uh, supply and this your, the regular SATA data cable, cable connects to your motherboard. That's pretty much it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the SSD right in the slot right here, and it already has a power uh, supply uh, cable, SATA cable here, and I have the extra SATA cable for the motherboard. And where this SATA cable gonna plug into is because if you, I don't know if you know this, um, this SATA right here, we follow it, it runs down, boop, 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 comes right here, and it's plugged in right there. So we're gonna plug our SATA into this one right here, into the black one. You have four different uh, connectors for, on the motherboard, you just use any one. I believe I'm gonna use the first one right there. Thing on sale for a hundred dollars, which is not bad. I think it's usually retail like 130, 140 or something like that. It's a good deal. So hard opening this thing with one hand, but I am trying. Okay, here we go. Come with a little booklet and boom, this is pretty much it. And so this is a, oh, a 2.5 inch and look how small this thing is compared to that. Like, what the hell? This is a dinosaur right now. Like if you guys are doing this, you definitely should update SSD. This thing is gonna, pretty much what it's gonna allow you to do is when you click on Google Chrome, click on YouTube, click on your video games, it's gonna boot it up so much faster. If you um, put Windows on, on here, it's gonna boot up from Windows like, like nothing. Cause right now, when I turn on my computer, this thing takes like 10 years to turn on. This should be day and night difference. So you have your power connector and your motherboard connector. So what we're gonna do is see how this has the screws on the side. Cause we're gonna lay that guy there and open up the mountain bracket. This thing is on sale too. Uh, one hand again. Okay, I took this thing out. There's no way, I'm, and I, I don't even feel like using my uh, my tripod. So, so literally this thing goes straight onto here. 
Oh, I was about to say, ain't coming no damn screws. I was about to black. I'm gonna say, ain't coming no screws. So the package come with big screws and smaller screws. So smaller ones is to get the SSD card on the bracket and the big screws going on the outside. That way you can slide that bad boy right in. This, I'm gonna plug out my, my SATA cable and my power so I can get that out the way. And I'm assuming the case goes in like this. Like that, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just kind of brainstorming right now. So I just slid the case in there and this thing kind of just slid in there without even needing any. I'm trying to figure out which way this thing goes in. I'm assuming it goes in this way and slides in there. Oh yeah. It's crazy because this thing slides in there. Like you, you probably wouldn't even need screws, but to be honest, you, you're, you're dumb if you try to put it in here and not tie it down. You don't want no moving parts in your PC. So yeah, so I'm gonna put it in just like this and then, damn, look at that, one, two, three. So I, I guess I can have the screws on this side. So a screw right here and a screw right here to kind of screw it down. But let me take this back out and then put the SSD on and I'm gonna slide that thing right in there. All right, so I have the SSD screw down in here. So you can see that screw has it screw down into here, one right there. So I have four screws ready to go. So I'm just gonna slide this thing right back in here. Now this tray is supposed to be universal, so it may fit kind of snug in yours. Like mine, it's it's pretty it's pretty snug. On my um my SATA, my power drive SATA cable, it comes with two um power plugs. So one goes into the, the big one and one goes into the small one. I just need to get my SATA cable and have that wired up in here. All right, so this is the SATA cable, and pretty much this end goes into the SSD, and then this end goes into the motherboard. My cables is already kind of cleaned up already, so I may just follow the same line that they did with this, and then plug it right in. So I just plug this blue cable right into this first one, and literally I'm just gonna have it kind of follow itself right. I had to put this thing up top and not the bottoms because this thing is orientated differently. So you see how that has a little L shape on the right side? On my main hard drive, the L shape is on the left side, which means this thing's gonna have to get plugged in like this, which is pretty fine. But it just that the way how I had it before, that wouldn't have worked. I'm not gonna understand what I just went through to make this thing work. So pretty much I had to change the SSD, put it on the top of the bracket, and then I have to put it all the way to the, hot, the furthest setting because this thing is gonna have to get plugged in like this. Only because the orientation on this cable is completely different than the cable on the power, on the HDD. So that's the only way I have to make it work. So let me plug everything back in. All right, so I have everything plugged in. Just double check your wires, make sure everything is snapped in. Make sure you see that it's snapped in. So yeah, that's the only thing I have to run into is that orientation of that wire is gonna be differently because of whatever. Anyways, I tied it down here, so it's good to go. So everybody been asking about the power supply. I did a lot of research. This power supply should be fine to run this, this 1050. Like it, I see a lot of people, they run it and it should definitely be fine. But anyways, I close this back in and that's pretty much it. Now the SSD installed. Now what I would need to do is install Windows on this SSD and then have this my main hard drive. So when I turn it on, it boots from the SSD and that's pretty much it. Pretty much install your SSD where it boots from the SSD to the computer. So that way your computer is moving way faster and not relying on that uh, HDD. That HDD could pretty much be a extra hard drive now. Pretty much. Got back from work. Time to continue this whole PC setup. Apologize, everything looks crazy. So once you have your SSD installed, you need to get into your BIOS screen. So I did some research and to do that on the HP 83, you gotta turn the computer on and tap escape like a bunch of times and then I believe you hit F10, so I'm gonna try it. Oh, I missed it. When I tell you guys, I spent about an hour trying to get to this damn menu. So pretty much when you wanna get to your, your BIOS screen, um, you need to hit, for the HPs, you hit escape before the computer boots up. And every time I hit escape on the keyboard, it was not working. I tried everything, I've been researching everything. 
So I was like, you know what? Let me try a different keyboard. So this keyboard doesn't fully load up until, you know, the computer's up and running. So my escape was not working. So I grabbed my old keyboard and boom, here I go. All right, so right now I'm currently installing Windows onto the SSD. And I'm kind of, I'm gonna I'm a kind of backtrack and kind of show you guys everything I've been through trying to get to where I'm at right now. Literally, it's 1.40 in the morning. I started this like around 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock or something like that. So 10 years later, I finally got everything done. SSD is installed. So this is my 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 hard drive I've been using when I got with the um with the laptop laptop with the computer, and that's a new SSD. You can see 931 gigs. So that means one terabyte, but you don't get the full one terabyte. Like this, is, I believe, is two terabytes, but you get the full two terabytes. And then you know my external hard drive. So pretty much what you gotta do is when you get the SSD and you install it in the computer, you need to, or you can do this beforehand, up to you. You need to go to this website right here and I'll link it in the description and you need to download this to either, you either need to get a copy of Windows on a CD or download a copy of Windows onto a USB or um, a, another hard drive or something. You need to download Windows. We need some, you need Windows on something. Pretty much what I did is I add a copy of Windows onto my hard drive here. Then I went to the BIOS screen and I booted the computer from this because this has the Windows on it. So you want to boot the computer where we have Windows on. And then once you're installing Windows, it's going to ask you where do you want to install Windows and you just choose your SSD. And that's pretty much it. It took me all day to even get to this point. Like it's, 2 30 in the morning right now and i finally got this thing done all right it's so the next morning i can finally say i got this thing completed son i was up all night trying to figure this thing out and we are and we are officially done what i'm mostly gonna use my ssd for is to load certain things so the reason why you will <clears throat> the reason why you will want an ssd card in your setup is because an SSD is as small as a lot newer and it's fast. It can boot things fast. So I have my, um, I have Windows booting up with the SSD and the thing is like lightning fast compared to HDD is crazy. So what I'm actually gonna do is like some of my bigger games, I'm gonna have those load up on the SSD. That way my load times are, are like that pretty much. I'm not waiting for anything. That's, that's the main reason why you would want an SSD. Um, a HDD hard drive, like what these A300s come with, it's fine, you know, plenty of space. This one I think is two, it's two terabytes. So my HDD is two terabytes and my SSD is one terabyte. So I have plenty of space. And then I have like a 30, I have a 30 gig um, external hard drive, two terabytes main and one terabyte on the, the SSD. So I'm pretty Gucci. When I said I wanted to fight this computer last night, like, like I said, I was up all night trying to figure out how to install this thing. So the main things I was running into is first when I install the SSD, if I try to like just move things or open up an application with using the SSD, it's like lightning fast, like well needed. If you guys are in the market to try the same thing I'm doing, get an SSD card with this thing. SSD card is like clutch. Only thing is SSDs are a lot more expensive than HDDs, especially if you go for, you know, one terabyte and above. I got my little stuff for $100 at Best Buy, so couldn't really go wrong. The computer is behaving so much faster. It's freaking crazy. Like, I'm gonna try, um, I'm gonna move GTA, I'm gonna move GTA to the SSD and try to play 5M on that to see how the speeds are. It should load everything up much faster though. And then maybe some other games. Other than that though, my main hard drive, I'm still gonna keep everything else on there. Like you don't need to fully grab your hard drive and swap it to the SSD and don't put nothing on the hard drive. You can still use your main hard drive and then use SSD as just additional storage pretty much. You know, for rendering, for gaming, for anything you wanna load faster, that's what you will use the SSD for. Pretty much in my opinion. That's pretty much my opinion. So I think for this build, I don't think I need anything else. I think I'm, I'm officially done. And what I'm gonna do in the future, maybe starting this year, I'm gonna build another computer, but it won't be an old office computer and you still have a graphics card in it. I'm actually gonna build like a full blown gaming computer 
and I may either keep this and give it to Michelle or maybe give it to one of you guys. I don't know. Um, I don't know how I want to do go about that, but um, I'm going to use this for a while and I'll probably do an update video to give you guys an idea of what it's like having the SSD in the computer versus not having it. About 50% of the stuff. Everything I do in this computer or I've been doing is I've been teaching myself. I've been doing research. I just taught myself. Like I don't, I'm not the biggest computer wizard in the world. I, I know I keep saying that, but I'm not. Drop a comment below if you have any questions of what I did. I'll try to answer it as my, my best ability. I do appreciate you guys as well because some people will comment on, on like some of the HP Elite videos and you guys will answer, help answer for them or give me tips and tricks too. So if you have any tips and tricks for me or any questions, concerns or anything like that, just give me, just drop a comment down below. Hopefully if you guys do the same thing as me, you guys are enjoying your computer. I game on this computer every single day. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to see you guys in the next episode.